हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फाइनेंशियल मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट वन इन दिस पार्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फैक्टर एंड द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एनुअल फैक्टर इन द स्प्रेडशीट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस प्लीज रिमेंबर प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फैक्टर एंड द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इन प्लस फैक्टर इज वन ऑफ द सेम थिंग एंड प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एनुअल फैक्टर एंड द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इन प्लस एनुअल फैक्टर इज वन ऑफ द सेम थिंग इन दिस एग्जाम्पल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज टेन परसेंट Number of periods are five, and the amount is one. We want to calculate present value factor. Now, what do we mean by that? First of all, actually, if we are receiving one rupee after five years at the rate of interest ten percent, so what's the present value right now? For this, we use function PV. When we say function PV, the first is rate of interest. Next is number of periods. Number of periods are five. PMT. There is no PMT. PMT we use when we there is a periodical payment. There is no PMT, and the future value is one because in the future we are getting rupee one. To normalize this, we just use negative here, and now when we talk about type, we use zero because we are getting this amount at the end of the period. So we use zero here and enter. So the present value is point six two one. If we are just getting one rupee after five year, the present value is point six two one. Or you can say that if we invest point six two one right now, and uh, at the rate of interest ten percent, so after five years we'll get how much amount? One rupee. Similarly, now what is present value annual factor? Annual factor is basically when this is a periodical payment. Now we use here equal present value, same function. First is rate of interest is ten percent. Number of periods are five. Now in this case, periodical payment is rupee one. To normalize this, we use negative sign here. This is no future value, and the type is zero because amount is paid at the end of the period. And when we enter, the answer is three point seven nine one. So what do you mean by this? If we invest three point seven nine one rupees right now at a rate of interest ten percent, we'll get one rupee after every year for five years. Now, if we say we want to change this interest rate and we can take any interest rate, so we'll first of all we'll go to data, data validation, and now we choose a list here. In a list, we choose a source. Now here. We have source. We can take interest rate from five percent to twenty nine point seven five percent and say okay. So see here, we have a different rate of interest. Similarly for the periods, again we will go to data. Go to data validation. We we'll choose a list here, and the sources we can take sources from here, one to hundred years, and say okay. And now check here. In number of periods, we have different number of periods. So, what's the benefit of that? Now we have a different number of periods. You can check that. And now, suppose we are changing the rate of interest here. We are saying the rate of interest is not ten percent. We are taking around. We can take anything from five percent to like twenty nine point seven five. So right now we are taking interest rate six percent, and the number of periods are ten. So you can see that the what's the corresponding value of that? The present value factor, the rate of interest, six percent for ten years is point five five years. This implies that if we are getting one rupee after ten years, what's the present value right now? If the rate of interest six percent is point five five eight. Similarly, what's the present value of on annuity? And here, what is the present value of annuity? If we are getting one rupee for ten years, right? What's the present value right now? If the interest rate is six percent, is seven point three six zero. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.